Okay guys, I am ready to test out my Biza Hut. <clears throat> so, Dave made me a special attachment because I get the bees from Ferris Apiaries and this is what they come in. It doesn't fit properly um, like the other one. So I'm going to open my bees and <clears throat> ready. Hopefully they're okay. Then. I don't know how long they were outside for. Oh, they look fine. They're doing fine. So I'm going to get the staple out here. Whoa, it just kind of went flying. <laughs> so here we go. They're very loud right now. So, <clears throat> with the bees ahead, we have the, let me see this okay, Get the light right. This here, actually, I'm going to use this one. Well, no, I'm going to use this one. This is the one. I'm going to take out the candy tray because <clears throat> we're not going to be using that. Um, and I'm going to attach this end of the thing. This actual plexiglass is something that actually came out of one of the Ferris Apiaries boxes, but uh, because the one that Dave sent wasn't really thin enough. Um, so if you end up getting one of these, uh, this might look a little bit different. So uh, no worries. Then my dog's going to bark. I apologize, but uh, there's no getting around that. <laughs> like crazy dogs. At least one of them, the louder one is outside. So I'm going to attach this thing. I'm just going to put the screw back in. Get it in there. Oh, bear with me. These bees are getting ticked off. <laughs> They're like, let me out. So the tube goes in. There we go. That's why. Okay, so I'm just going to screw it in nice and tight. Um, and I am going to just. This is the exciting part. I just want to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. So, to position this this way. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these staples out and I'm going to slide this on while I push this one off. And try not to let anyone escape here. <laughs> and hopefully they'll just make their way in there. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. These guys are very active. They're probably like, they we're sitting in the sun for, I don't know, a little while, so. They were here when I got home. I need to go find staples afterwards. Um, let's see if I can get a better view. Okay. Well, this is flexible, but all right. Here's a moment of truth. Oh, I don't want to go that way because this little hole here they can escape through. Look at the little tongues and antenna. Okay, so very carefully, I'm going to just slide this right through. What's going to happen is the lip of this plastic. This black thing kind of gets a little caught and that's why we had to switch to the thinner plastic um, so we're just gonna hopefully not release anybody here and there we go so they should start making their way through the tube <gasps> there it goes so exciting oh here they go they're gonna go find their new queen I'm gonna just tighten up that there's my dog in the background. 
I'm going to get to making them some bee candy. Although they will still have access to what is left over in the little box. So they seem to be figuring it out pretty well. Maybe decent. Let's see. So, oh, yeah. There's at least one in there. Oh, yeah. There's a bunch up there already. Oh, you can see my reflection. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Alright, so there, um, there we go. And then, I guess, once they, um, I just have this one batch and the one in my, um, my, uh, other box from Ferris. So, um, once they're all out of here, I'm probably, I'll probably wait till they eat all that bee candy. And then, uh, I will probably put that back in until I get um, my next batch, which will go in my other mini hut. And there's this uh, connector, so I can actually connect the two mini bees huts. So I am very happy with this setup. Seems to be working. They don't. They seem to be very excited in there. Kind of cool to see them kind of going through. Um, yeah, cool. Thank you.